Hello friend, good evening and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host Khan Baba. God will give you more happiness and long life. I try to my level best to give you latest update about Iraqi dinar. So please like and share my video with your friend and family, which will help me for supporting. And now let's start the today information. Some of you appear to have lost faith. We know Iraq will thrive if there are no full-blown wars and even then the oil revenue would continue to go up. No one is giving up on Iraq. Whatever they come up with that's what it's going to be for them. But outside the country of Iraq, on an international level the Iraqi dinar is going to grow in value and you're going to watch it grow. You're going to say, hey it's at $1.50 to 1, sold. Trade everything in. Somebody may say, well let me wait a little bit more. A few weeks go by. Hey, look it's up at $2. Exchanging everything. Outside of Iraq, we're going to be watching the float. Since Iraq is removing the zeros in country then giving its citizens new currency at an increased rate, greater than $1, will they remove the zeros out of country, for us, before we can exchange? Will our 25k notes become the equivalent of the new 25 dinar note then get its new value from forex or will we get the forex value for the entire 25k note? We will get the forex rate for the entire 25k. Is it necessary for Iraq to publish the rate in the budget before we make appointments? I do not think it's necessary. I believe they will. Try to keep the rate private as long as possible like what they did with Kuwait. If they have a real effective exchange rate like Al Sadani said, that the dinar is going to be stronger than the dollar, the parallel market goes away. Obviously the stronger the currency is the cheaper it is for Iraq to do what they need to do. It's a no-brainer. It's that simple. I saw that Iraq has holidays coming up. Would this slow them down releasing the rates? Every time we have looked in the past we saw Kuwait revalued during Ramadan. Iraq revalued in the early 70s during a holiday. I wouldn't be too worried about those things. Just look at all the progress made just since December 2022 when Iraq announced they were finally entirely out of Chapter 7. And now the spigot is wide open the final issues preventing. The reinstatement are being dealt with one by one, my contact in the CBI told me. There is a very high probability that we would see the currency swap out in this month of June and so we watch and wait. They went on televisions. And they're showing us Rifadin Bank brought in all of this equipment. It's in these crates. They're telling us they are deploying the latest ATM machines in all banks today. They said the next step they would follow up with are the commercial areas. They also said they're going to release all of these ATM machines in malls and many other locations. They're saying these ATM machines have the latest technology and are state of the art. These ATM machines have the new software for the lower notes and that's why the CBI is positioning them for you right now. Take care and goodbye. 